Hey you guys and welcome to my January wrap up where I tell you guys all the books I read in January but first I want to say <coughs> a little bit of an update there wasn't a book haul Monday last Monday because I caught the flu I have been sick for a while because it's just been ridiculous I at first didn't know I had the flu so I was taking the wrong medicine I got the right medicine but right now I still have like the cough part like everything else is fine except for the cough and my cough is always the worst so it's getting better so there we are and I'm just tired for some reason even though I slept just uh but <coughs> <coughs> I want I want to get um two at least two videos up today today's Sunday so I'm hoping to do this wrap up and also a year on TBR and then tomorrow I do have a pre-recorded video, book haul video, so I'll put that up Monday. The only reason I didn't put up it last Monday was because I forgot uh, until like the last, it was like really late and I couldn't find my SD card and I was just so tired and I got, I got so frustrated trying to find it and finally found it. I tried to upload it and it was just having all these problems and it was just like, blah, I'm done. So, mm. so anyway, I read six books. For the month <coughs> of January, <clears throat> yeah, and the first one was, I don't have Goodreads open, was Between the Devil and Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve uh, Tuscan, and this is how the, um, the cover looks. Uh, I don't have the physical book with me, and I spent, like, so much time trying to find it. I thought I lost it. I don't know what happened. I was like... I don't know what happened in my sick phase and then I realized I let my friend borrow it so yeah that was a thing but it was a good way to start off the year I gave it a five out of five stars and I'm hoping to either do a written review or <coughs> a written review or maybe like a video review of it soon probably written um but it follows this girl Violet and she meets this boy River West and I don't know there's just kind of all these devil themes in it because her her, her uh, grandmother always told her to be careful of what you say because the devil may hear and I thought there was it was it had a very dreamlike quality and following it from the girl's perspective it was just very kind of dreamlike I guess is the best way to describe it it's kind of just kind of surreal a little bit and I really like that feeling and the way everything was written and all that stuff and it was just awesome and it was five out of five stars so <coughs> the next book <coughs> that I read was The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes and <coughs> this is how it looks and I did this as a read along with Christina from the Princess Gummy Bear whose channel I will link down below and I just I read ahead of her a little bit I basically read this in one to two sittings probably and I like that because um, I gave it a five out of five stars it was it was awesome and I love Jennifer Lynn Barnes and her like the last book that I read by her was nobody and it was a standalone and I really wanted more because and this one I thought was a standalone but it's actually a part of a series and I really enjoyed this but it could have been a standalone also and it follows this girl Cassie and she's kind of like this natural she like uh, profiles people like she has this natural instinct to look at someone and you know know who they are and kind of what they want to do <clears throat> and she gets tapped for this special FBI program um, that you know uses kids with this with like their natural ability so she's with this other kid some one who can like uh, tell people's emotions more uh, someone else who's good at the lying thing uh, then there's another profile like her and stuff like that so there's all these kids and they're working on old FBI cold cases and things just get really interesting and twists and turns and I just loved it 5 out of 5 stars definitely you guys should pick it up um, <coughs> and then I read which is another read along book Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell and it was absolutely fantastic 5 out of 5 stars you guys at this point I was just like on some magical reading role because I read this I think in less all of these three books in less than a week and they're just all fantastic and <clears throat> and all of you guys know by now this follows this girl Kath and her twin sister 
Rin and they go to college and her sister kind of wants tired apart from being like, like a twin and just she just wants to experience the ca college life and you know they're not as close as they once were because they used to write fan fiction together and be do everything together and now you know Kat's kind of alone with her roommate who she <coughs> has a rocky relationship with and just all this stuff and I absolutely love this and I started shipping the fan fiction that she was writing because there they um, have this uh, fandom called the Simon Snow fandom which is sort of like our Harry Potter but like <coughs> a little different but absolutely loved it Simon and Baz was all sorts of awesomeness and just awesome just awesome I can't I can't say I can't say awesome enough and I'm fangirling over this book I'm fangirling over this book I ship fake fan fiction people I ship it Simon and Baz I get it cat I do I do so I'm just gonna you guys are just gonna ignore that part because it's weird okay yeah uh, I'll try to do like <coughs> written reviews for all three of those soon <clears throat> next book that I read was code of war and it was actually a reread and this is the cover uh, if you guys can see that and it was by Shane Carmichael and I <coughs> I read the last time I read it. It was back in 2011, so it was, it was a, it's a short, nice story, and I gave it like the same rating. It was a four out of five. I don't think I changed my rating on it. I don't think, but like it was, it was it follows this guy, and he's just like kind of working for this rebel. It's, it's like a like fantasy thing, and like the assassins, and they're trying to be like <laughs> doing something for the kingdom. Or whatever but it was it was kind it was interesting it was good and I like the characters and I like where it's going and I was like in the world but it's like it's really 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 short there's not enough there to like make you feel like it's a complete story in any way shape or form this needs a sequel there needs to be things I need more I just do just it just needs to happen just I just need it Okay, are you listening to me, author who's probably never going to see this, but if you could, a sequel, a sequel would be nice. Uh, so, <clears throat> after that I actually finished a book, started reading a while back, and it was called Betting, Betting the Billionaire, and it was free on the Kindle, and it was by Ken, Kendra Little, and this is how it looks. Okay, so I gave this book one out of, one out of five stars. And I was being nice, people. I was I was being nice. Did everything really just get yellow all of a sudden? Oh, whatever's. But um, so it follows this girl who just broke up with her boyfriend slash boss and quit her job because he was cheating with someone else from the work on her. And so she goes to work for her friend. Lucy, who's a private investigator, and one of her first uh, things is to like slightly seduce, like get some compromising pictures of this married man, you know, for for the wife. <coughs> what they don't know is that married man is not actually the married man because his boss, because um, he like slipped off in like some drunk, he's somewhere, and his boss doesn't know, so his boss assumes his identity, so no one know, but will know what's up um for some strange reason and yeah so case of my sticking identity and at first i was kind of liking this book and then like i don't know like halfway through i was just like this is just the worst the worst thing the worst thing ever i just can't can't deal with the crappiness that was this book i was like these people's problems are just in their reactions i was like He's dumb. He he is so dumb. She is stupider, and I can't deal with this crap anymore. <coughs> I can't. I can't. Even now, all all I can think of is really, 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 die, both of you, please, because it would save the world the trouble. Oh my God, I can't. I can't anymore, but it was free on the Kindle, so I'll link it down below. And if any of you guys are interested in reading it, you guys should tell me what you guys think about it because I just, <sighs> I'm done, I'm done. So the next book, or short story, 
that I read. Sorry. <coughs> I'm trying not to full on cough until after this video is done. Is uh, The Egg by Andy Weir. And um, it's a short story about the universe. It's really, really short. But it was really, really good. And it was really mind blowing. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. And I'll link it down below to the Gittery's page because it'll, it'll send you, it'll take, uh, you can click on it take you to another link for the short story and it's like it's not it's not it says it comes out to four pages but really it's shorter than that I think I don't know because I'm reading on the computer so I don't know how if it was actually printed out if it would be four pages but I don't want to say anything more than that but it was really good and you guys should check it out maybe I'll do a reading of it out loud I haven't done one for a while and if my voice can handle it, uh, I'll do that. But so I gave that a 5 out of 5 stars. And it was complete. And that was awesome. And I just loved loved all the books this month. Loved Except for Betting the Billionaire. It was just so crappy. So there's a train coming. But what I really wanted to say was that like I had a hard time picking like my favorite book for this month, you guys. Really really hard so it's just gonna end in like a, uh, a four-way tie since I only read six books okay or maybe more maybe more like a three-way tie between between the double and a deep blue sea the naturals and fangirl because those books were just awesome and I think everyone should read them and fangirl Kath is like I, I connected with her the most out of everyone like between between Violet and Kath I was kind of like huh ah. But Kath got my fangirl side, so she kind of wins out. She kind of wins out in the end. Sorry. Sorry, Violet. Mm. Um, but um, my favorite romance was more between Violet and River. So, yeah, definitely, definitely got them. And, like, the most intriguing was, like, the naturals. It was just like, what? 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 <coughs> Still mind blown by the egg, though. So just go all check those out. And you guys, let me know down below what is your favorite book this month, for last month. Um, um, who is your favorite couple? What was your top intriguing? Which character did you connect to the most? And if you guys follow me on Goodreads, you'll know that I kind of update sometimes with like quotes and stuff. So I'll just send you guys off with that because there is like, at least one or two quotes from the naturals that I'll share and I'll just share one from like uh, the naturals and then one from like between the devil and deep blue sea and don't worry they're they're non spoilish but if you don't want to hear you don't have to um so it says you could tell more about a stranger by seeing their house than you would ever would by inviting them to yours and this is a quote from the naturals and then from Between the Devil and Deep Blue Sea, apparently I was all about the quotes. Um, so here goes one or two. It flowed and flowed, like water flowed down a mountain, like time flowed by on a summer day, like blood flowed down on a razor neck. Um, wow. And then it was just like, Echo. What a nice name for a town. It's perfect. An echo of all the things that came here before it. So those are just one or two quotes from one of the books and I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys later. Bye.